Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 7th of 2020, well, it is titled a Pic du Midi a Panorama. So what do we see here? Well, these, this is an observatory in the Pyrenees Mountains, and we can see on the right-hand side, we can see some of the lights of a city of France, and to the left, we see uh, lights from cities in Spain, as the Pyrenees are right between these two countries. And we can see the observatories based in those mountains, which is where we base many observatories in terms of mountains to get them high up above a lot of the Earth's atmosphere. Now, as we look up to the sky, we see a number of objects as well, including our Milky Way stretching across the entire panorama. And we can see many of the winter constellations that we associate. And we see uh, one prominent one, of course, is the constellation of Orion. Orion there, a little bit to the left of center, uh, is one of the very prominent winter constellations. And we can even see the bright star Betelgeuse, which has been in the news this year as it had gotten incredibly faint over the last couple of months, although it seems to have come out of that cycle and is now continuing to brighten and back uh, close to its normal brightness now. Uh, also within Orion, we see the Orion Nebula down below the belt of Orion there, which is a large star-forming region and one of the nearest large star-forming regions to us. Now, to the left of Orion, we see the bright star Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. And there it being one of the uh, parts of Canis Major, the larger dog, which would follow the hunter through the sky as the stars rise in the east and set in the west. And off to the right of uh, Orion, we see two other star clusters, and those are the Hyades and the Pleiades star clusters. So those are two star clusters in the constellation of Taurus, the bull. So we can see a number of star clusters and, of course, our own Milky Way galaxy, although we do keep in mind that all of the stars and all of the objects that you see here are within our own galaxy. The, what we call our Milky Way galaxy is just the very distant portions of it uh, that are all uh, blurred together off in the distance. Stars that are close by can appear to be within all sorts of distant differences, but it's because we're inside the galaxy and things that are relatively close to us are those that, is, that appear uh, all over the sky and things that are much further away seem to be concentrated into this plane of the galaxy. Now, could we go outside our galaxy and look at it? We would see that it is a spiral galaxy that is very flat. So when we look at it from inside, we see the concentration of material along that flat disk that makes up our galaxy. But it would look quite different could we actually get outside our galaxy and look back on it. And the only way we can get an idea of what that is like is by observing other galaxies because we have no technology that even comes close to allowing us to get outside of our, of our galaxy and look back on it. So that was our picture of the day for March the 7th of 2020. It was titled Peak du Midi a, a Panorama. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be stellar winds. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.